Hi everyone, uh, welcome to our very first video on Watches Guild. Today we're going to look at a very famous chronograph from the 1960s, the Zenith uh, CP2 Italian military issues from the 1960s. Today we're going to look at you know, the details, we're going to have a very nice zoom in and we're going to talk about the story of this watch, which is one of the most sought after in the collector's market. So stay with us, we're going to go through it and we're going to have a very nice review about this amazing piece for collectors. The Zenith CP2 was written by Carelli in the 1960s and it was issued by the Italian Air Force throughout the years. There are other very famous battle-proven military wristwatches like the Breguet Type 20, the Rolex Peruvian Air Force Daytona, but the Carelli really remains one of the most sought after in the secondary market because when you look at the vintage military chronograph, it remains one of the most you know, iconic for the designs and for the history they carry. And really any luxury watch brand with military provenance really drives out the price. But when it comes to the Zenith, there are a few details and a few particular addition to the dial that really adds the value throughout. The Zenith Carelli CP2 is the one that succeeded after the Breitling and the Leonidas CP1, which basically were the earlier version, both retailed by Breitling and Leonidas. On the back, you will see that there is some of the inscription about the issues and so on. But the Aeronautica Militare, which basically is Italian Air Force, required a very legible dial and accurate instruments for navigational purposes beside, obviously, a tool watch. And Carelli was a very famous retailer that you know, had decades long history in supplying the pilot watches and navigator timepieces to the Italian Air Force and the Italian military. And this was one of the pieces that was retailed in the 60s. As today, there are estimated only 500 of the original 2,500 that were you know, built and sold in the market. So majority of them have been either lost track or they've been worn out during the use, which also, again, really drives up the importance of this watch in the, in the secondary market. Let's take a look at the watch itself. As we mentioned before, the 43 millimeter size, it's 43, 43 and a half, uh, 44 millimeter size, some will say. It's a very large and exceptional for, uh, for this time. Is a much larger than the CP1 version because again they wanted to achieve much much better eligibility. The case size is measuring 12.5 millimeter thickness on the breast, which really provides a lot of room around the manual winding movement, which is set inside. On the dial, you will see that the black dial on the it's you know really recalls the vintage size of the Carelli and presents itself with the three tube coated number on the very large size and the Arabic numerals. The hands are also treated with the white same luminescent, and so again, even the hands are with tritium, uh, which really provide you know, the level of detail patina that everyone is looking on the vintage market. Uh, there are around three, and basically nine o'clock, there are the two register, uh, which basically cuts into the numbers, some of them, and then basically you will see that they really provide a very nice numeral on the graft. Inside the watch, we can't see the movement inside, but there is a caliber 146, which was tried and tested for many years for Zenith, and it was then introduced in the watches since 1960s. 146 really comprised a monometallic balance, shock protections, and a self compensated flat balance spring, and it has 17 jewels and 38 hours power. If you look at the, there are two registers on the dial. On the left hand side, register around 9 o'clock you'll see the sweeping ends, they're moving on. Right inside dials, the 3 p.m., there are obviously the minutes. There are 30 minutes registered on the three o'clock dial. And as you can see, the, the movement is a flyback chronograph before it really gets back into the positions within precision and velocity in order for another time to be kept. Thank you everybody for staying with us in video. Today we watched an amazing, iconic military watch, you know, the vintage Zenith, Carelli CP2. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you really liked it, please comment, like, share. Help us to improve this video just by commenting and letting us know what you liked and what you'd like to see next. So for today, thank you for staying with us and we'll see you in the next video.